There are times when you need to reset your iPad, iPad mini, iPad Pro without your Apple ID. And this could be for a whole lot of reasons. And there are several ways this can be solved. When it comes to resetting an iPad without an Apple ID or an iCloud password, iMyPhone is always a good choice. To do this, LockWiper utilizes the Unlock Apple ID setting, which is designed to wipe out all data on your iPad in minutes. Here are the steps to reset your iPad without an Apple ID or an iCloud password. One thing that should be noted is that you should make sure that you can access your iPad settings. It cannot remove the iCloud activation lock screen. You can reset your iPad whether Find My iPad is on or off. Connect your iPad to a computer. Select the Unlock Apple ID mode. Click on Start Unlock, and several minutes later, it's done iMyPhone LockWiper is fully compatible with the latest iOS versions and all models of iPad. Not only can you reset your iPad without an Apple ID via this tool, you can also fix any other Apple ID problems with ease. Turn off your device. Hold down the Home button. Make sure to keep holding the Home button until you see the Recovery Mode screen. Connect your device to the computer. Now you can see the option to update or restore your device in iTunes. Click Restore. And after this process is done, iTunes will download and install the latest version of iPad OS on your device. By the way, if Find My has already been disabled, you can directly enter your iPad after resetting it. If the Apple ID belongs to you, you can easily reset your Apple ID and password, even if you've already forgotten both of them. Apple has provided detailed steps regarding three situations. Email, password, and security questions, two-factor authentication, and two-step verification. We'll describe the first situation. Go to appleid.apple.com. Click Forgot Apple ID or Password. Input your Apple ID. If you forgot it, you can go to your iPhone's iCloud, iTunes and App Store, and many other places to find it. Choose Answer Security Questions or Get an Email to reset your Apple ID password. After that, you can use the new password to sign into all of your devices that are linked to the account. Back up your important information before resetting to avoid losing them permanently. This is because the iPad reset wipes out all of the data with the aim of restoring the device to its factory state. If there's no backup of your data, you're likely to lose it in the end. Ensure that you have the latest version of iTunes on your computer or Mac if you want to use the iTunes option to do a factory reset. If you're planning to resell your iPad or donate it, then it's important to wipe out sensitive data before handing it over to the new owner. Okay, that's all for today's video. Which method to reset your iPad without an Apple ID or password do you prefer? I'd really- Hello guys, and welcome to iMyPhone's official YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to wipe your iPad even when you don't know the passcode to enter your iPad. Let's get started now. Maybe you have a locked iPad that you haven't used for a long time and you want to wipe it as a new iPad. Then suddenly you just forgot the passcode. In this case, how can I wipe a locked iPad without a passcode? You can try these two methods. First, you can wipe your locked iPad without passcode using iCloud's Find My iPad feature. Here's how to do it. Step 1. Use your computer to log into iCloud.com slash find. Sign into the service using your Apple ID and password. Step 2. Click on the option All Devices. If Find My iPad is enabled on your iPhone, your iPad will be showing on this page. Step 3. Choose Erase iPad option to delete and wipe all the data on your iPad and open your iPad. Afterward, iCloud will restore your iPad data. This method takes too long to complete and only works for those who have enabled Find My iPad feature on their iPad before now. Besides, you need to ensure your iPad is connected to the internet. The second method is for if Find My iPad is disabled or you don't want to wipe the locked iPad via iCloud. You can turn to another third-party tool to wipe your locked iPad without a passcode 
and that is iMyPhone Lock Wiper. While other iPad unlocking tools will delay for hours or days before unlocking your disabled iOS device, Lock Wiper will give you immediate access to your iPad in just a few clicks. You can also use it to remove Apple ID when you need. Here's how to do it. Step 1. Download and install Lock Wiper on your PC or Mac. Launch Lock Wiper and select Unlock Screen Passcode Mode. Step 2. Use a USB cable to connect to your device and click Next. Step 3. Download your iPad's firmware package by clicking the Download button. When the download is completed, click Start to Extract. Step 4. After the extraction is complete, click Start Unlock, enter 000000 to reconfirm your request, and then click Unlock. And that's it! You've successfully wiped a locked iPad that easily. That's all for today. If you found it helpful, please give a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Feel free to leave a comment below if you have any questions about this video. See you next time. Thank you.